Welcome back. Well, hello. Oh. That fucking intro thing is in my head. Yeah. Yeah. Except oh, that, right. What is that one instrument that they use? That one French ass sounding instrument. The one at the beginning? Yeah. The one that What's I was just doing? Yeah, the one. It's like a, it's like a really. It sounds like a mandolin. Mandolin? I don't know. I could be completely off. <laughs> it sounds like um. It's like not a, a, like a lute or some shit. A lute? I don't know. What's a like lute? A, like a, it's like it's like a string instrument. Uh, yeah, a mandolin's a string instrument. Oh. You know what a mandolin is, right? No, I don't. Okay, look it up. I don't think it is a mandolin. How but does one spell wait, it? wait, wait! Just look it up. Like, look up. <laughs> I know. I said it twice, but. But what I meant was two different things. I meant look it up to see what yes, it looks yeah. like, but then I also meant like look up a sample of one playing. Yes, okay. Instrument mandolin. Oh, there goes my bowling video. I think that might be it. If that okay, if yeah, the, if, the if talking. If someone did a trill on that thing, I think that could be it, right? Not it's not a trill, it's um like a tremolo. Yeah, but you know what I mean? Yeah. That could be it. Especially with like the recording quality of whenever this was. I don't know. He's the, talking the, a lot about how how it's made. I don't know. Yeah, it might it's, be. It sounds kind of Spanishy. You said French. I said French. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I, I just reached know, maybe interesting intro to the to, to Silent Hill. Welcome back. It's uh, it works. Yeah, for sure. Um, we're, we're probably gonna get lost for the next few episodes. Why don't you find out what it is though? Like, I'm interested oh, to know what um, what uh, instrument it is. I don't fucking know. How am I supposed to look that up? Um, Silent Hill theme song intro, instruments. Intro. Okay, so I just want to explain. I just. I just did the exact same thing that I did in the end of the last Silent Hill episode. But I just wanted to, if you couldn't tell, retrace and make sure I didn't miss anything. Because if we miss things from here on out, it's going to take uh, take us a <laughs> long time. Someone posted it on Reddit. Someone asked what instrument that is? Oh, from a Silent Hill song. Um, no, the Silent Hill. <laughs> yeah. There's only one! Because someone's like, it's a theremin. I'm like, no. I don't think so. I I definitely don't think that's a theremin. No, not even close. Okay. Um, uh, there's a lot of reading in this. This is the first time. Yeah, it, it says Silent Hill theme cover mandolin. Sweet. So wait, wait, wait! Click that video. I want to hear how it sounds on a plain mandolin. Yeah! Fuck yeah! <laughs> I did it, dude! I fucking Congrats. did it. I didn't know what a mandolin was. That's exactly what it is. I think that is Spanish, but maybe it's French. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I just hear like when people like, or when media shows like, um, I don't know, just you're in France or some shit or in Paris, you hear Why's that instrument. Oh fuck! There's a morgue. There's a morgue. Yeah, there's that, a morgue. You mean dead people? Yeah. How exciting! I just want to say this is the first time. Um. In this uh, public Silent Hill series to you yes. guys that we, uh, we are completely blind, both of us. Completely. 100%. completely. I mean, I've been blind this whole time. I'm already colorblind. So well, like, you weren't blind during the last session because we did it once. That's true. Or twice but already. I was zoning out so hard that I was pretty much not a help. So Okay. There's well, that. Well, now we're going to be working on this together and yes, all that stuff. I guess. Uh, here's a basement key. I will take it against my better judgment. I mean, against your better judgment. <sighs> I don't want to go down there. Oh, I was gonna say like, why would that's you where the morgue was? In a ga- why would you never pick up a key in a game? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? There's nothing special or anything unusual yeah, anywhere. The type of people that eat mac and cheese with a fork. God. Okay, you don't get to say that. <laughs> We've never had this conversation on here. No, we haven't. And for your info, information, infer- for your information, <laughs> for your information, you're the one who eats mac and cheese with a fork. And you're just trying to cover your ass beforehand. Yep. (laughs) 
Uh, today we went to Texas Roadhouse. That's that's where that's where this is going. And uh, we were served mac and cheese with a spoon. And they gave and they gave us a spoon with it. So I was like, all right. Hey, it's Resident Evil. Plastic bottle. Can I take more? No. Okay. So it's not gonna be like making that V jolt. V jolt. Yeah. Um and um oh, this that place sounds is weirdly eerie. That sounds like well, it's gonna be. Well, yeah. I mean, just an empty ass room. And you have the kitchen too, but like that sounds like way out of context. This whole mac and cheese thing, but we had one of those debates that we always have on here, like the one about um wiping. <laughs> the first For example, the uh, one about eggs, one about eggs. Eggs. Me and Anza with the eggs. Um, we had one of those uh classic debates of which is the right way to do which something. Which is the right way. Who's, who's the dumbass here? Yeah, and uh, it was spoon versus fork for mac and cheese and I'm on the side of spoon. And I am t- I'm talking uh, craft mac and cheese, by the way. Craft is I a do, I do, I do agree. When you've got big old like baker's mac and cheese that some like fucking chef made, then yeah, you want to use a fork for that. When it's, a th- when it's thick as shit. When it's a thick boy. When it's when it's big old noodles that you're not gonna be yeah. able to spoon up with a spoon. Oh. Yeah, and I, oh, yeah. And I thought he was talking about mac and cheese in general. Oh, nice detail. A glass vial lies shattered. It's not just broken. It looks smashed on purpose. This and there's is, a lot of blood. This this show this show this fucking ugh. This game is so empty and eerie. It's ugh. Harrison, you thick-headed prick. There's blood on the ground. And he just don't give a shit. He don't. You give a fuck. Okay, so if we learn anything from the school, it doesn't matter what we're seeing right now because it's about to turn into hell. Oh, that'd be interesting if every area turned into hell like that. I think that's how it goes. Oh, yeah? Yes. This already looks kind of like gone to shit. But then again, people would probably say the school already looks like that. Okay, so, fuck. I see that the basement is over here. Oh, let's go to the basement. Hang on, I'm going to check. Some... No, no basement's ever not creepy. Oh, fuck. Wait, it's going to make on. us go to the basement, right? Yeah, you said it right. Yeah. I no mean, basement is ever creepy would be not what you meant yes. to say. Well, that would be the sarcastic way. Yeah. But, like, yeah, that and attics. Oh my! Oh my fucking god! I had an attic back in LA, and that I never went in that shit. You know, I'm happy. And to I lived there like all my life, never. And the, the only place to get into it was my closet. <laughs> so like, yeah. I'm but ha- huh? basements, I think, are scarier than attics. I'm happy the elevator key didn't work, but <laughs> or I'm happy the elevator didn't work. Oh no. Oh, great. But I'm so, not happy that the basement key did work. I'm assuming you also agree that basements are scarier than attics. I don't agree, actually. Uh-huh. So you think attics are scarier? Absolutely. Why? Uh, because my you've seen my basement at my house I grew up in. Oh, that's true. Yeah, it was like just another... It was like another story, except, yeah. But I mean a basement for literal just storage. As opposed to living in. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I don't know. I didn't. Well, I've never had one. It. Uh, everything's throwing me well, off. I've There's shit attic. around down here. I can hear it. And I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. I don't know. I just thought, I thought it was scary. Like, thing, <sighs> things would be creeping up from the basement. Like, I don't know. Ah! <laughs> God damn it. It's just a cockroach. <laughs> Uh, it's like the least scary enemy, and because it was there, I screamed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, because he saw something moving in that weird ass pattern thing. Then again, if there was if there was a cockroach in real life, he'd scream louder than that. <sighs> oh yeah, I mean, but in this game, those are like the definitely the least scary things. Dude, to thank find. God we haven't seen another cockroach in this fucking apartment. Like I should just say. Yeah, there hasn't been one in the apartment, but I did see one at the pool last. Although night. there was so many outside. Mm-hmm. Like, it's wait, wait, no, I like, didn't read that. It's basically like selling to Hunga. Okay, so for some reason, I feel like when we push that switch, it's either not going to work or it's going to work and this place will turn to hell. So I'm going to wait on that just a second and I'm going to explore around the rest okay. of this. For sure. Okay. If it doesn't work, then that's that. But first, I'm going to check the storeroom in the morgue when it's not hell yet. 
Okay. Maybe I'm not. Or maybe the generator. I'm not. We'll turn on all the lights. That would be... That sounds a little optimistic for this game. It does. And why is the elevator gold-plated? I don't know. Okay, it was like, in are here, we in right? Some fucking fancy ass hotel or some shit. No, that was the stairs. Dude, stop! I will step on. Yeah, just you. step on them. Literally, just crunch them. I think I'm hurt. What the fuck? No! God damn it! Dude, why else cockroach be hurting at you? I'm gonna need this hell shit in a second. It'll just make me feel. Huh. God damn it! Okay. I don't like this. Hit that motherfucking switch. Well, I did. Oh, look, we're fine. Maybe the elevator's working. Okay. Yeah, maybe the elevator's working. What is that? Um. <laughs> um. Okay, this is all the same. You you you're going. It's all the same. It's all the same so you, far. You're going you're going to bed at night and you hear that sound and otherwise it's pitch ass quiet. What what do you pitch do? Pitch ass quiet. This feels really Resident Evilly. It's the camera. Oh yeah, angle. The it's camera the camera. Angles. Yeah. Uh, do I have to press a floor? Yeah. Is that what's going on here? That is what's going on here. Beep. Do you want to go to three, two, or one? I don't know. Blast off. <laughs> That's what the B is for. Let's go, all Blast the way, off. let's go all the way to the top. Oh. Well, that his the top of his head really looked like a face when I was adjusting right here. Mm-hmm. I didn't like it. Oh, yeah, I had to, I had a fucking really weird ass fever dream earlier. By earlier, I mean last night. Uh huh. Um, and I didn't touch on it, but like somehow I still remember the details. Um, basically. Um. Yeah. Fuck. Basically, I was in the plot of, wait, wait. Um, Damn it. of Oculus. Okay. If anyone who's seen that movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. I don't think this is a spoiler, really, but like where the mirror is fucking with you and you don't know what's really real. And you're like, it's basically all psychological shit. Mm -hmm. It was like that, except I was trapped in my room. And instead of some weird ass mirror doing it, it was fucking Megatron. Megatron so is. He's a Transformer. Okay. He's a leader of the Decepticons. And that was after he fucking farted his. some like gas in my room to get me in that weird, like, psychological state so I could okay. be mind controlled into joining the Decepticons. Okay. And I legit just tried living my life like normal. Like I had friends over and everything were sitting on the floor. God damn it. Oh. So that was interesting. Yeah, huh. Alright. And I was like, what happens if I just like throw this at the window and you're like, how do you know it's a window if you're not just throwing it at someone's face or something? What? There's then, a fourth floor now? Oh shit. And I was just gonna say the window just then like opened an eye at me, but yeah. Okay. That name is overused to me. That like, definitely was not there. Megatron, Metaton, Metatron. Metatron like, Meta what the fuck's a Metatron? I think that's from Supernatural, or he's named something like that. It's like that. You know what I mean? They're all so similar. I guess, oh, yeah. oh, oh, hell. nice cutscene. She's walking into the club. This game definitely fucks with you, and it is on purpose, and I love it. Oh, yeah. And I hate it. And oh, fuck me! There we'll is. see you next time! Ugh, it's hell. It's, it's already hell.